Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today, as always, we'll see a really simple experiment. In fact, we'll use lemons. So, for this experiment, we are going to show you how you can extract uh, citric acid from lemons. Uh, citric acid uh, is uh, useful in uh, laboratories because uh, it is able to modulate uh, more easily the pH of a solution. So, let's see this experiment. So, let's start by presenting this experiment. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is take our lemons, cut them and uh, squeeze out the juice from them uh, using an appropriate instrument. Uh, you have to remember that uh, if uh, your, uh, uh, your juice contains uh, a lot of stuff in it, you must uh, filter it. Uh, so then we're going to uh, mix these two solutions uh, and uh, what will, uh, something will precipitate and we're going to filter it out. One thing that we can notice is that when we measure uh, the pH of our solution of citric acid at the beginning, it is really acid, and that's because uh, citric acid is a uh, uh, weak acid, but is present in a big amount. After that, uh, we're going to prepare a solution for sodium hydroxide, which is going uh, to contain uh, 10 grams of sodium hydroxide uh, with uh, 100 uh, milliliters of solution. Uh, then uh, we are going uh, to uh, take this solution and uh, mix it with uh, the juice that we are going to obtain from our lemons. After that, when we add uh, the sodium hydroxide, uh, we know that citric acid is a three product acid with three different pK. Uh, and in this way, uh, we uh, are able to neutralize the three uh, protons of citric acid in different moments. And at the end, we neutralize the last protons and we add the sodium hydroxide in excess to uh, neutralize fu fully uh, all the citric acid. And in fact, this happens at pH around eight or nine. And so in this way, we prepare a solution of uh, sodium tristrate that is soluble in water. So the next step for our experiment is to prepare a solution of calcium chloride. We're going to add 28.5 grams of calcium chloride uh, and we're going to bring it to 70 milliliters of solution. Uh, after that, uh, we are going uh, to dissolve this and mix it with the juice that we have obtained uh, before. Uh, in this way, uh, precipitate will start forming and this precipitate is calcium uh, citrate. It uh, will be removed by filtering out the final solution. So now we want to isolate our citric acid in a salt form and that's why we use a salt that is able to precipitate it. In fact, calcium chloride forms with citric acid with the following reaction. Calcium, the calcium tricitrate and in this way, we, uh, since this salt is insoluble in water, we are able to uh, filter uh, off everything and to get this uh, calcium citrate uh, in a pure form. And so we are going to continue this experiment with the uh, following steps.
The next step for our experiment is to prepare a solution of sulfuric acid, which is going to be concentrated at 15%. So we're going to dilute our sulfuric acid. Then we're going to mix it with the few trade that we obtained in our previous step. And uh, by doing that, uh, we're going uh, uh, to obtain a solution. Uh, and this solution is going to form a precipitate. So this precipitate, we're going to filter it out. And uh, the final result that we obtain, we're going to proceed our experiment with. By adding sulfuric acid to our solution, we form um, calcium sulfate and citric acid again and we get it in a solubilized form. Also we know that calcium sulfate precipitates from our solution because it is insoluble in water and one, one thing that we uh, need to notice is that we use a really uh, small uh, amount in the effect of sulfuric acid because it is really difficult to separate from citric acid whereas calcium citrate is really uh, easy to separate because it is insoluble in water so we uh, get an excess of uh, citric um, uh, calcium citrate and we separate it with the calcium uh, sulfate and uh, so uh, this is the step uh, and uh, now we need to continue because we need to separate water from citric acid the last step that we have to do uh, is to uh, take this solution that we obtain uh, and we are going to, uh, to uh, heat it up uh, until it arrives at 80 degrees. Uh, so this solution we are going to transfer it uh, in a large beaker in order to uh, ease up the uh, operation. Uh, in fact, we are going uh, to take this liquid and bring it uh, down uh, to uh, 100 milliliters. After that, we are going to transfer our liquid, which has become uh, slightly yellow, in a smaller beaker, uh, in a way that we can see uh, how much uh, liquid has uh, left. Uh, in fact, we are going uh, to uh, bring it down up to uh, uh, 70 milliliters. Uh, then we are going to take this uh, liquid and filter it. Uh, after that, uh, we are going to make everything evaporate uh, and we are going to obtain our citric acid in this way. Okay, guys, when we separate water from the evaporation, we use uh, eight, uh, 80 degrees because uh, at higher temperatures it can be dangerous from, uh, for citric acid. So once we have evaporated uh, most of uh, the water, we see this uh, yellow color forming and that's because uh, the calcium citrate that is in excess from uh, uh, sulfuric acid and in fact it gives these colors when it precipitates out uh, our solution. So we separate it with the filtration and after that we uh, just have to evaporate the water that is left in order to get our crystal of uh, citric acid. So guys, now we want to sum up all the main steps of this experiment. In fact, what we have done is to uh, precipitate uh, all the components present in lemons with the pH. After that, we have isolated citric acid with, in a calcium citrate form with calcium chloride. After that, we have uh, converted it back in uh, citric acid with sulfuric acid and we have evaporated all the water with, by heating our solution. And we want you to know that this experiment is not so dangerous, but you should be really careful with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide solutions. So, everyone, if you like this video, leave down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, go to the page of Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys.